to sin. I'm Willie Pickens. I'm a jazz musician and I'm an educator. And I had gravitate to the piano and plunk on it. I, I don't think I was making that much sense at the beginning because I had no training. But after a while of, of playing around the piano, it started making sense. At, at that time, there was a Charlie Parker and, and Dizzy Gillespie. They were all a rage. You know, that was the bebop, beginning of the bebop era that was real strong, so. And that was an exciting period of, of music. And the music was different, the dress was different, and they kind of formed a kind of a language of their own, you know. So when I graduated for, uh, in 1958, there was a bass player there by the name of Connie Milano, and he had a, he came over to Chicago here, had a job, and he called me and asked would I like to join him. This was on the Rush Street area, called, a place called the Domino. And after that job folded, I stayed around here because the atmosphere was really good musically. We had people like uh, Muhal, Richard Abrams. We had uh, a pianist by the name of Billy Green. We had uh, Jody Christian. You had John Young. You had Ira Sullivan. Nikki Hill, Wilbur Campbell. So it was a quite exciting scene here, and uh, the musicians were really warm and welcoming to me. I wasn't planning on staying in Chicago. I was headed towards uh, New York, but the scene was just so inviting, so I stayed around. I, presently, I'm teaching at Northern Illinois University, I'm in my 14th year there, and I'm also running a program for Ravinia called, Ravinia called Jazz in the Schools. And the Ravinia program is, is a collaboration between the public high schools and Ravinia. They provide funds and the, and the facilities for us to practice and work with high school kids. It's just some fantastic talent and you wouldn't expect coming from Chicago Public Schools because usually you figure that they have had less advantage as say the as opposed to the suburbs. But these kids could stand up against anybody. For a while I guess the music dried up here. And then for about uh, 10 years uh, uh, Jim Wagner was on a mission to uh, bring jazz back to Hyde Park. We have looked for another venue and we've been having places like Room 43 and then we also use the uh, International House. So I don't know if we'll be permanently at Room 43 or not, but it's a nice venue and hopefully for the legacy of Jim Wagner, we can continue to have jazz in Hyde Park. Thank you.